So it's it's just interesting to see like what they're doing to future proof everything. Yeah. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for boys, boys, boys. Everyone's favorite. Boys, 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 boys. <laughs> We'll be starting Please. Snow's route, which will be very interesting. Yeah. Yes, we start our journey to make Snow eat a sandwich. Because <laughs> this boy, this boy needs some meat on his bones. God damn. <laughs> One second. Let me double check the settings, actually. Hang on. that real fast. Oh. Yeah, that should be good. Suddenly, you find yourself lost in a world of darkness. Will we see our best buddy, Alice? <laughs> Probably. Where am I? I keep walking and walking, but I can't seem to find a single exit. It's so dark. I can't see a thing. I can't even tell how far I've walked, or how much time has passed. No matter where you go, the scenery around you remains static and unchanging. It's like the darkness has consumed everything, all sense of direction, even the very concept of time itself. Were you to stand perfectly still and hold your breath, the only sound would be that of your own heartbeat. What am I doing here? Who am I? You can't remember a thing. Not even your own name. It's Riku! <laughs> I can't remember anything, just like the narrator said. <laughs> Alone in the dark, fear and loneliness overwhelms you. H Hello? Is anyone there? If you're there, say something, please. No one's here. Was I always alone? And did I lose someone along the way? Meanwhile, Alice is just sitting at the gas station like, where the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. You've soon grown tired of walking. Something spurs you forward in spite of yourself. Meow meow. Maybe I'll find something just up ahead. Your morale is in tatters and your legs are threatening to give out, but you press on regardless. What on earth? Out of nowhere, something seizes you by the lake, threatening to pull you down into its inky depths. Okay, so just the opening from one again. <laughs> yeah. No! But now we have dramatic music. Or it's the first time I can hear it. One of the two. It's the first time you can hear it. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you struggle with all your might, refusing to let the shadows swallow you up. Someone! Help! This way. That's different. <gasps> this is very different. Alice yeah. has never helped us before. Right? Huh? We'll make a run for it. <gasps> a run for it? Uh, okay. Peculiar. Those are some sounds, all right. Yeah, that was definitely some Alice sounds. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Do you think we're safe here? <laughs> this guy needs to do some more cardio. <laughs> And this is why he normally I, doesn't lift a finger. <laughs> this is why he normally doesn't lift a finger, because he's just so out of shape. Leave <laughs> though. 
Hello. Are you okay? You're as white as a sheet. Hello, Spooky. Ooh. Welcome on in. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Do I look okay to you? Unlike you, I prefer brains over brawn. I'm a deep thinker and a textual genius. And as such, I'm very delicate. I gotta die. I need air. <laughs> Poor Alice. Oh god! Are you dying? I better give you mouth to mouth! Not That's yet, not till next you. game, honey. Yeah. <laughs> The goddamn thirsty nipple slots. <laughs> oh god, he combined that those words together. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Jeez, don't hit me. I was just joking. Like, you shouldn't joke about that crap. Do you stupid in this game come as a package deal or what? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> he perished. <laughs> no! Are, are you sure you're okay? He never said he was okay. <laughs> just, just clicked in my head. I was like, "Wait, <laughs> you're right." I mean, he he was asked multiple times, "Like, are you okay?" And then she's just like, "Do do I look okay? <laughs> do I look fine?" <laughs> I'm a fragile little delicate flower. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't shout at me if you're already out of breath. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, who's making me shout at you? Whose fault is it? Hmm? Let's hear it. <laughs> Yours! It's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Must be pinching her cheeks again. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Forget it. Anyway, moving on. Seeing as I was bored enough to actually help you out, is there something very important you have to say to me? <laughs> Good point. Thank you very much for saving me from immediate danger. Without you, who knows what would have happened to me? <laughs> just his expression. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> What's with that look you're giving me? Turns out being thanked gives me goosebumps. Hush. Right up my arms. Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Alice. Nobody's just given him a compliment for many years now. <laughs> like a, a genuine compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I'm so grateful. Eric, you're such a bitch. <laughs> I know. She, she, she's a brat. We've already established this. We've had two games to establish yeah. that she's a brat. <laughs> nah, enough already. I get it, okay? Quit repeating yourself. You're creeping me out. <laughs> oh, okay. What? <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> How dare you bully me after I went out of my way to save your life, you rude, ill-mannered, uncivilized, insolent, presumptuous, selfish, demanding brat. You have an impressive laundry list of flaws, I see. <laughs> wow, he's getting better at his list. I think that's the yeah. longest <laughs> list of adjectives I've seen used to describe Reiki. Right I want to say surprise I didn't stumble across any of those words. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> Reminds me, actually. You don't listen either. Guess we can scratch that off your bingo card. <gasps> Did I get bingo? So, what is it you want to know? Where we are, who I am. Ideally, I'd refuse to tell you, but I only get more annoying. So, since I have no other choice, I'll tell you just this once. <laughs> Alice is like, I have a strange feeling I've done this before, and it's always ended poorly for me. <laughs> My name is Alice, and I don't know where we are. Then, happy now. <laughs> Your name is Alice? 
you have a problem with that Riku. Maybe. Ah, so that. Yeah, that's right. Make sure to vote here to decide the new brand new sparkly follower emo. I'm surprised you knew what I was going to ask. Of course I did. Well. Well, what? I gave you my name. Now what do you say? <laughs> Thank you? <laughs> Thank you, I can't. Wow. Mm, I felt the psychic damage from that. Wowie, you're so welcome. What are there? <laughs> wow, this is the most cheerful I've heard, Alice. As if bird of Hey. When someone introduced themselves to you, the standard polite, common sense thing to do is introduce yourself back. <laughs> I think she knows. <laughs> oh, you want my name? I'm... Mm. What's the matter? Just tell me you forgot your own name or something. Sonayo! Why are you smiling and nodding about? How stupid are you? Not even knowing your own name is a major problem. So you think you don't even have a brain? <laughs> oh, buddy. Are you in for a treat? She does it. <laughs> Should I shake you around for a while? Maybe I'll hear your little pea brain rattling around there like a marble. <laughs> Marble's on stream? <laughs> Do you know who I am, Alice? I'm the bitch that's gonna huh? end your fucking life. <laughs> Excuse me? How would I know who you are? Well, why did you rescue me then? Well... <laughs> because... Alice EXE has stopped working. <laughs> because? Because I'm a nice guy, obviously. I'm a kind-hearted, benevolent soul who always lends a helping hand to those in need. Really, I'm due for my Nobel Peace Prize any day now. <laughs> it's kind of sauce, even for him. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, thanks again, Alice. You're just sunshine and rainbows at all times, aren't you? Even a dog or cat, no, even an amoeba would worry about the situation we're in. I think an amoeba would just care about food. Probably. You think so? And for the record, that's not a compliment. I'm insulting you. Got it? So what's going on in there, Jane Doe? Oh, so my name is Jane! Going on in where? God, you're such a ditz. Doesn't your current predicament make you feel scared or anxious or anything? It did, but then I found someone. I don't even know your own name, nor do you know where we are. Do you have any thoughts on that? I don't think Riku has a single thought in her head. She doesn't. It's just... E... 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 e. <laughs> well, sure, it's pretty scary. Waking up in a pitch black world with no recollection of who I am or what I'm doing here. I'm just a delicate flower, you know? <laughs> Stealing his line and using it against him? A delicate flower? You sure Shiba. about that? <laughs> Ella, what are you doing? <laughs> Ear twist. <laughs> I got the feeling you were thinking something rude about me. <laughs> you sadist. <laughs> now then, back on topic. Yes, I was scared. Scared that I'd be stuck here, all alone forever. But now I have someone. And when that thing attacked me, I was terrified I would disappear. But then I found you, Alice. More of Alice found you, but I digress. I was gonna say, I, 
Any other scenario, yes, but not this time. No, not this time. What? So now you have nothing to worry about? Not quite. I just know that as long as I'm with you, I have nothing to fear. <laughs> oh, Great. So tell me, you remember you remember who you are, right? Unlike me. What makes you think that? Because you have such a wonderful name. Alice is a very good name, yes. Yes. Sticky Wonderful. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> have you heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. You truly aren't Just because I introduced myself as Alice doesn't mean it's my real name. True. <gasps> Was he lying to us? Maybe, who knows. Would Alice lie to us, Sakyo? I'm gonna go with most likely yes. <laughs> Wait, he Damn. is. <laughs> <laughs> he has so many little secrets, but it's okay because he's cute. It's okay, we'll find out those secrets next time. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a fake name? Oh. Yeah, so maybe. <gasps> Bit of a vague answer, don't you think? And before his name is author. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't help it. I'm the same as you, you know. Wait. So... God, you're so dense. <gasps> Long story short, I have amnesia too. Shocker. Shocker. The blonde guy doesn't have a brain cell. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow, I expected more reaction than that. How can you just shrug off this major revelation? Well, obviously, you have the less serious amnesia, because <laughs> you remember your name. <laughs> oh my god! You have amnesia? Okay, now you're obviously faking it. Gee, thanks a lot. He's smiling, <laughs> though. He is smiling, which we haven't seen too much of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... Why did you introduce yourself as Alice, then? Isn't that normally a girl's name, anyway? Bitch, you gave him the name. Yes, well, these are highly abnormal circumstances we find ourselves in, aren't they? I simply gave you the only name I could remember, obviously. Alice. A lot of people... A lot of people have amnesia. It's been given away for free on multiple platforms at this point. Let's <laughs> hear. <laughs> Not that amnesia! <laughs> I actually do have access to the dating sim amnesia because of Peachy, but that is... It. Wait, there's a dating sim? Yeah. Wait, is, it, is yeah. it the same amnesia that I'm thinking of? Maybe. Because I'm thinking amnesia the horror game. Oh yeah, there's also that. I forgot about that one because I was thinking about Oh, okay, sim. so we are talking about different <laughs> amnesias. <laughs> there's a lot of amnesia out there. Keep you and your loved ones safe. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have amnesia yet. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways. Now, back to the point. Is Alice actually my name or someone else's? Ultimately, it doesn't matter. If you need to have a name, then Alice it is. Fair enough. If you need me to have a name. <laughs> I can read. Don't worry about it. What, what's reading? Don't know. There's also a tiny infinitesimal chance that your name is Alice Arisu, the Japanese version. Arisu? You want me to be Arisu? How did you get to that point, Rikyu? <laughs> sure, you can be Arisu. Or if that's not good enough for you, you can be Miss No Name, or Anonymous, or You Know Who, or Unknown, or whatever you want. Fair. Can I be that bitch? <laughs> No, no! I like Arasu! From here on, I'm your new friend Arasu! 
クは君とよろしくしたくはないのだな。<笑> He doesn't want to be friends with us. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> no need to be shy, silly. You saved my life, and that means we're friends now. I'm not sure if that's how friendship works, but okay. It can be. It can be. I'm not being shy, nor am I being polite. Don't even try to give me some weird label with the tsundere. Disgusting. I mean, why should you talk down to me when I'm the one that saved you? Who saved you? I can read. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, great and merciful savior, please bestow upon this worthless worm your priceless friendship. <laughs> okay, sure. Starting now, we're best buddies. <gasps> He's gonna take that back. I just know. He is. I'm not giving my hopes up. <laughs> not. Do you really think that's how this is going to play out? Oh. <laughs> Sayodaya! <laughs> I probably added a syllable or two in there, but I don't care. You definitely did, cause, which is funny because he said it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bird of many talents, Sakyo. <laughs> Your brain's dead. No, I'm a bird brain. <laughs> if it turns out I really am Arasu. Then maybe that means you and I were friends before we lost our memories. So, who knows? Maybe. So tell me, Alice, what's your next move? All ice. My next move? I don't have one. You don't want to try to get out of here? Nope. Yep. How come? Well, let me ask you, Arisu. Do you think we're capable of escaping from this place, even though we don't know where we are? Oh, we've done it before. <laughs> Just because we don't know where we are, it doesn't mean we can't find a way out. Do you want out of here? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's so empty and dark. I may not have my memories, but I can tell I'm not meant to stay here. To be clear, you were attacked by some formless entity. True. <gasps> That's right, he saw it this time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Alice. Why don't you come with me? As long as we're together, I'm sure we'll make it. If we try! Make what? Just the two of us! Make it out of here! If you want out so badly, go find the exit. Don't drag me into it. Oh, buddy, you better protect your hands then. <laughs> you really don't want to escape? I really don't. Why not? You don't know what this place is either. Doesn't that frighten you? Oh, so that. No, it doesn't. But. <laughs> I may not know where we are, but I can make an educated guess. The void. <laughs> and what's that? I think we're trapped in a dream. <gasps> I don't know exactly what this world is, but my gut instinct is telling me that this isn't reality. And if so, then a dream is the most realistic alternative. Wait, is it your dream or my dream? <laughs> in a dream, suddenly the impossible is made possible, and I think it happened. <laughs> So this empty black void is a dream? I'm guessing it's yours. Is that so absurd? No, it's not absurd. It just strikes me as a really boring dream, that's all. Careful now. For all we know, this might be your dream we're talking about. <gasps> and by the way... Are you getting close again? <gasps> Be close. 
Could you quit pinching your cheek? That's such an odd trope. If this is a dream, then your brain will probably just recreate the pain anyway. Fine. I'm glad you understand. So, if this is my dream, does that mean you're just some fictional character my brain created? Close. <laughs> Close. He's a stuck up rich kid. Or conversely, maybe you're the obnoxious fictional character. This is my dream. I want to wake up. <laughs> Well, too bad, sucka. <laughs> Whose dream is it, I wonder? Yours or mine? Which one is the real Alice? I guess whoever doesn't wake up will disappear. Ah, so yeah, probably. If we if we get to pick only one of them, I'm picking Reiku. <laughs> well, I'm picking Alice, so. <laughs> well, then I guess chat will decide. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, now do you see? If this is a dream, the only thing I do would be pointless, because it's not real. So I might as well just stay here and... So you're scared? Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> the little sound that he, his voice actually actually made is the sound that like popped in my head. It's like, ah yes. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would explain why you don't want to leave, right? If this world is truly a dream, then by choosing to stay here, you're choosing not to wake up, right? Oh no, now he has the no thoughts. <laughs> it's okay. Boy, get your hand away from me. Try to hold my hand without my consent and I'll sue you for sexual harassment. Oh, please! You should stop touching my body! <laughs> Alice really just decided to call rape. Oh my god. Even if this world is a dream and one of us disappears, I'll never let go. Now let's get going! Quit tossing out baseless claims. I swear, the word carries no weight, like popcorn or something. I admit, I don't have anything that can give credence to my claims, but the same goes for you. We both have amnesia. It's our amnesia now. Ooh, how was that? Did they just play a video and then you had to take a quiz, especially saying, "Hey, I kn I know what constitute." So sexual harassment now, <laughs> and I say, and I vow that I don't do that. That's basically uh, like yeah. In California, where we are, I'm pretty sure an hour is like legally required. It is. They have to give you it every year. Yeah. I guess the perk mm -hmm. of being self-employed. Yeah. But I also don't have to worry about sexual harassment from my. Well, you could always life. you could always just pick a day every year. It's just like okay, we're gonna review the sexual harassment training team. <laughs> yeah, I just have to make sure I don't sexually harass myself. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's super, it's super hard. I'm hot. I mean, you are a fireworks, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> For Uber, it was a slideshow than a quiz. Yeah. Okay, so you at least got the fast version. <laughs> you calling me a liar? I'm saying we're in the same boat, and I want to believe in you. Good grief, you're so naive. All sugar and no substance, like caramel syrup. Caramel? So what you're saying is, you want us to stick together? That's not what he meant from that, but okay. <laughs> Ricky just lives in her own world. <laughs> she she yeah. do though. She do <laughs> just live in her own world. <laughs> yes, of course. How very astute. After all, no matter what I say, you have zero intention of letting go, right? Well, I promised I wouldn't, didn't I? I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Alice is just that one cat that 
does not want affection, and Riku's just like, Kitty! Yeah. <laughs> hand in hand, you wander through the darkness. Kingdom Hearts. I mean, uh, moments earlier, you were overwhelmed with fear, but now the warmth of his hand reassures you. <gasps> hand touching. We're holding hands, so dude. You say we'll make it, but what if we don't? You gotta believe in the sun! <laughs> we can make it if we try! Hmm. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It's oh the worst thing you could have said. A selfish, irresponsible answer from a selfish and irresponsible girl. And yet, here you are, tagging along with me anyway. You're such a good person. You're dragging him. Yeah. Well, he's quiet though. <laughs> huh. well, I got nothing against Carl Park popcorn every now and then. I can't read. <laughs> and so the friendly conversation continues. Actually friendly. friendly. They are being at least friendlier than normal. Than normal. Yeah. No ground to walk on. No concept of time. No one else in sight. And yet, with Alice at your side, you don't miss any of it. You walk and walk and walk. Until there appears before you a giant looking glass. Boys, boys, boys. boys. <laughs> Whoa! What is that thing? It's a mirror. It is? Yeah. At first glance, it might look like a huge crystal. But if you look carefully, you can see our reflections. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if this fact is true, but there's like no natural mirrors in the world. Mm. Like you could you could argue that water reflects you, but it's not yeah. like a mirror. Yeah. Anyway, Sugoi. The question is: Is it a mirror by intent, intention, or by chance? Functionally, there's no difference. Either way, it's still a mirror. True, I guess. Sorry, I'm looking it up right now. Fair. I also could figure because I could hear the click clack of the keyboard. <laughs> Weird that it's so sparkly here in the dark. Is it glowing? Or is light shining onto it from somewhere? If this thing is weird for glowing, then what about us? Oh, it's a chat GPT response. Okay, I'll <laughs> oh, find dear. something a little bit more concrete than that. Fair. Oh, good point. I didn't think of that. How did you fail to notice all this time? Are you being dense on purpose, or does it come naturally? Either way, you're still a fake, cute, fake, stupid freak. Maybe it's bioluminescence. Is that the word I'm thinking of? Ah, so that. Yeah, something like that. Or just a couple of deep sea viper fish, you and me. <laughs> oh, but humans don't have pho pho photophores, at least that I know of. Jeez. Thanks for killing the joke. <laughs> To be fair, I wasn't really paying attention to the joke. <laughs> You're welcome! I wonder how it works. Oh, but if this is a dream, then anything's possible. So I guess it doesn't matter. True. Say, do you think this mirror is a gateway to another world? I mean, you see it all the time in fiction, right? Passing through the mirror into a different realm? Beats me. If you're so curious, then check for yourself. But just so we're clear, I want no part of it. No matter how reckless and foolhardy you are, we'll change it ahead first, like, let's just jump in. Wee. Give me a break, lady. Yeah. 
Yeah. If I screw up here, both of us will pay the price. Ah, and a more reasonable If there really is a world beyond the looking glass, what do you think it's like? So good a mirror reflection of this one, Then it must be a fun place with lots of people! But to the opposite of black is white. そのとおり。君は実に触れたい頭の持ち主だな。だ、ピンクさん。君がなんか感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感覚感
Kimi Rocky. You're nauseatingly optimistic. You know that. Oi, what's this all this dead? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> It's boys, 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 Yep. Yep. Life's more fun that way. Boys night, yes. You're needing to travel to the other side. You reach out to the mirror. And suddenly, it's radiates a blinding light. Alright, so before we get too caught up in mirror business, mm -hmm. uh, I did look it up. So, all the mirrors in history have been polished stone, at the very least. Mm -hmm. So, the only, the only natural mirrors that can really happen are water. Fair enough. But everything, every other mirror has been polished stone. And it used to be like stones like obsidian. So it'd like mm -hmm. make everything like a dark reflection. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool to think about because we have like the clear reflection these days. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> when the light fades, the mirror no longer reflects you. But two other figures. <gasps> oh, he looks so dapper. <laughs> On the left is a man as white as snow. Yuki. <laughs> On the right is a man draped in the in all the world's darkness. Okay, oh. wizard. That explains why those two are paired together, though, because they have. Yeah, because it's like. Right. It's white and black chess analogy. Yeah. Light I, and darkness. I literally didn't even consider that possibility. <laughs> also, oh yeah, they're, they're they're definitely going heavy with the monochrome, white and white and black this mm -hmm. time. Which is cool. It's cool that there's like a theme. Yeah. You hopefully, hopefully this means we'll have something normal. <laughs> I doubt it, because it's Snow and the Wizards. <laughs> I mean, Wizards gonna be fucking insane, so. Oh yeah, definitely. I am looking forward <laughs> to that, but Snow first. Yeah, but we're doing Snow first, because less likely to have a bunch of major story oh, no, spoilers. Oh no, my horsey. <laughs> oh no, my horsey. <laughs> they seem familiar somehow. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking the same thing. You you prod the surface of the mirror with your finger, and it ripples like water. <gasps> Looks like I'll let us through. Sure does! What the? When I touched the one on the right, it turned all black. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very ominous. It's practically screaming. Look out, I'm dangerous. Stay away. Wanna check it out? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you getting all excited for? Chill. Take a hit and read the room. I'm saying don't go. See that? It's all dark and closed off. <gasps> it is? That was wizard. <laughs> Try to stick your head in there, and you'll end up crying for your mommy. I'm telling you. <laughs> Reiki just immediately sticks her head in. Echo. <laughs> she would. <laughs> Dang, that's unfortunate. What's unfortunate is your lack of critical thinking. Not so much of my own for sticking with you. It's so true. <laughs> You're gonna stick with me? <laughs> Regrettably at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> True. If you're not going to let go, then I have no choice. Oh yeah. I have no choice to be stuck with you. Being dragged, literally. Alright then. Let's go. Together, you and Alice reach out to the mirror. And you walk through the glass and jump down into the looking glass world. Wait, which mirror do they go through? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a minute.
I was expecting to have a choice. Me too. Oh, whoa. <laughs> the game might have just said, like, hey, we'll do Lizard last. Okay, it's snow. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time in the Looking Glass world, there lived a peculiar young boy. He was slight of build, with lips as red as an apple, and skin as wet as snow. Yeah, okay. okay, this might be the wizard. Might, would it be I'm kidding. <laughs> you never know with you sometimes. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> this is why you're in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> but why? I promise I will. I, I only burnt down one village today. Today. I'm waiting for the. I know. He was as beautiful as a fairy tale prince, and he stood out from the crowd wherever he went. But once all the people in the land had settled into their beds, the snowy prince journeyed out to the lake. The air was so cold that his breath turned white, but the prince was unbothered. He simply gazed out at the lake. His body was as cold as ice, and his attitude was chilly. He looked at the world around him with icy eyes, too. But by keeping a cool head, he could see things for what they really were. For you see, his heart gleams like a mirror. All right, let's go smudge mud on this mirror. Silverly, silver, the, the silverly, silverly hair fluttered as a pair of eyes bored into me like two icicles. Silvery. Silvery. Hey, big brother. Will you tell me the story of the princess white as snow? Interesting. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if this is narrator or if this is Big Brother telling the story. I don't know, man. I forget, was I? No, you were a huntsman, weren't you? Yeah, I was. I, I, guess, I guess I'll read it until we find out. Yeah. One day, my mother said to me, Right. What? I I was just thinking this this plays a lot like um Red Riding Hood. Is doesn't it? A little. Now listen here. You're not like all the other kids. You're a precious angel. That's why you mustn't play outside. The world is filled with wicked It is the same one. The world is filled with wicked wolves, and you can never trust them. So if one talks to you, be sure to ignore them. You have to watch the house while I'm gone, understand? And if anyone knocks on that door, don't let them in, no matter what. But that's definitely Snow. Mm -hmm. So this is Snow's perspective. Okay, so you got it from here. Yeah. My sweet, beautiful mother. She loved flowers, fairy tales, and all things beautiful. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry I didn't listen. So I know episode two, we were talking a lot about parallels. Mm hmm. Uh, but let's continue on for a bit. Yeah. I traveled through the dark woods near the lake and soon arrived back at home. Was anyone there? But no matter how hard I knocked, no one answered. This was definitely the right house. There weren't any others in sight. Hesitantly, I twisted the doorknob. Strangely enough, it was unlocked. The moonlight streaming in through the window faintly illuminated the interior. Oh. And the instant I saw it, my body froze solid. What was I looking at right now? Was this a dream or a delusion? 
If this was a dream, did that mean I'd gone crazy? Or had I been crazy for a while now? Did he walk in on his mom or something? I think this here is in the here yeah. in the looking glass world, winter had finally arrived. I'm just gonna go based off the fact that it's Reiki's borders, you know? Yeah. It was a tourist trap with a naturally cold climate, and as such, our winters were pretty harsh. Or at least they were supposed to be. But lately the afternoons were completely comparatively warm, with no need for a jacket. Proof of global warming, I guess. Spooky no. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> That day, I was wearing my favorite white dress, running errands for my brothers. Gah, I'm late! I raced down the street, both arms laden with shopping bags. One of my more paranoid brothers, Red Riding Hood, asked me to be home before dark. But the sun was already on the horizon, and daylight was running out. Okay, so Red Riding Hood's a bro yeah. in this one. Yay. <laughs> I was still quite a long ways from our house, too. It would take approximately 20 more minutes of walking to get there, so I ran for 15 minutes. <laughs> At this rate, I was not going to make it back before dark. To really explain how I ended up in this situation, I got distracted window shopping while I was in town. Fair. That's fair. Yes, it was completely my fault, and I deserved whatever lecture I was about to get. Now that I think about it, I could save more time if I cut through the forest. But didn't Red say the forest is dangerous? It is. There's a well there was a well-known shortcut that passed through the woods near the lake straight on to downtown. And as such, our neighbors used it all the time. But one night fell. Its popularity plummeted. Six months from now, that forest would be dotted with lights in the windows of all the summer homes. But during the winter, it was practically a graveyard. Long story short, the forest was presently too dark to safely walk through. That's why we're going through the forest. <laughs> the sky above me was slowly turning from pale blue to orange. <gasps> sure, there were comparatively less light at this hour, but as long as I cut straight through the woods, I could make it out before the sun sets completely. <gasps> Let's go, girly. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 All the context clues point me to yes for this one. Because, like, snow goes to the lake at night, so this would be, like, the first time we meet snow. Maybe. I'm sorry, Red. So I decided to disobey my brother and cut through the woods. But Karma swiftly bit back. A wolf! Whoa! I tripped over something and fell flat on my face. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. My limbs splayed in all directions, and my grocery flew out of my arms and tumbled a short distance away. The entire front of my body ached from the impact. What on earth are I tripped over? I pushed myself up into a sitting position and looked over my shoulder to see a single red apple lying on the ground. Groceries? What the? What's an apple doing out here? Who do I look like? Isaac Newton? There were no apple trees in this forest. So where had it come from? Someone must have dropped it. Hmm. Not like it was my problem, though. I rose to my feet, but just then something yanked my hair backwards. <gasps> Twisting my head around, I found that my hair was caught in a tree branch. Oh. Uh. My heart sank. Not only had I disobeyed my brothers by trying, by taking the shortcut, but now I was wasting all the time I would have otherwise saved. If I tried to stand, the branch would tear my hair out. I couldn't, but I couldn't untangle myself unless I stood up to do so. The simplest solution would be to snap the branch. 
It was def but it was directly behind me, and I couldn't quite reach it. Ow, 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 ow. I tried to turn my body, but my hair only grew more and more tangled. Oh, no, honey. Reiki dies in the woods. <laughs> yeah. That's the game. <laughs> And the longer I battled the stupid branch, the darker my surroundings grew. Great. Now I've done it. My whisper echoed on the chilly night breeze. I was completely and utterly screwed. Here I was in the middle in the forest at night. The one thing I wasn't supposed to do. At this point, a lecture from my brother was the least of my worries. Would I even make it home alive? Oh, Heavenly Father, is this my punishment for my sins? Which ones? But just as I started praying, I heard the crunch of dead leaves underfoot. I'm saved! Sensing that it was a passerby, I looked up eagerly. <sighs> the boy and now he steals our soul and freezes our body for <laughs> nourishment or something i don't know what do yuki Onas do <laughs> there in the dim lit forest was the most beautiful male specimen i've ever seen why are you calling him a specimen <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> goodness his skin and hair were both white as snow Almost like he was an angel had fallen to earth. Okay. As I laid there, he called out to me. God, even his voice is beautiful. Y yeah. Okay, leaves. <laughs> I answered shyly. I must have looked pretty stupid. Lying sprawled on the ground, but I didn't care. My heart was fluttering at the idyllic prospect of this beautiful man rescuing me. Boys, 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 boys. <laughs> However, so okay then. <laughs> <laughs> I called it. <laughs> okay, have fun. <laughs> Snow. The man gracefully turned and headed back the way he had come. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> hey, wait, please. I'm not okay at all. As I shouted after him, he, he mercifully came to a stop. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm just like, okay, you're fine. What do you need? Uh, my hair's cut in a branch. You want me to free? Yes, please! I nodded vigorously. With each nod, the branch yanked my hair painfully, but right now I didn't care. The handsome man walked right up to me, reached out and roughly grabbed the branch instead of gently untangling me. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on a minute. This is the part where you're supposed to lean in close and I get all flustered. Wait, was that? What was that snapping sound? Hold on, there. Don't Next step. She left the. He left the branch in her hair. Yeah. Huh? Your idea of fixing it was to snap the branch off entirely. I mean, that was your idea to start with, so don't blame him for just taking the fastest solution. <laughs> well, um, thank you very much. I was in a real bind. The broken branch dangled from my hair as I curtsy. Well, now she has a melee weapon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's me. No biggie. His flawless lashes fluttered as he shrugged and walked away. <laughs> That was so funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> After he was gone, I stood there for a while, staring into space. Well, now we know we can't play games with snow. We just have to be direct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My cheeks were burning, 
and my heart was thumping in my chest. And the next thing I knew, my lips were moving of their own accord. Eh? I'm in love. <laughs> oh dear. It was the winter before my 20th birthday. She's 19? What? Yeah. When did that happen? Since, since always. I thought we went over this before. I thought she was 18. No. She's been she's, 19. She's been 19 the entire game series? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm thinking like the Japanese, aren't I? The Japanese I she was 17. Was... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And I, Reiki Arasu, had just met my Prince Charming. I don't think he's interested. No. When I arrived home, when I arrived safely at home, I told my four siblings everything that I had. She has four siblings. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh wait, if it's Snow White and the Dwarves, so that's like five. We're missing like two. Hmm. Anyway, big household makes sense though. Mm -hmm. Oh man, oh That's dear. Charming. Uh, that's I so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cinderella. Cinderella rolled his eyes at me as he ate a slice of apple pie. He was the oldest son, and he ran the household. Apple, you say? An apple pie, you say? <laughs> What's the harm? Our puppet's allowed to dream, surely. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting Kaguya to be one of them. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense because we only have so many characters to pick from, but like. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I was expecting like. Thematically, he doesn't fit. Like, I was definitely expecting Cinderella. We already know Red is one of her siblings. And of yeah, course and then the probably the last one's Gretel. Yeah. I don't know. Thankfully, I can count on Kaguya, the third son, to stand up for me. Okay, so he's like not the oldest. Yeah, because so he's like the oldest. Yeah, so he's like the third son. So he's third oldest, so that means Red's probably the second oldest then. Yeah. Because Gretel's super young. Wait, when is, where does the Huntsman come into play? Because the Huntsman's 29. Oh, right. Maybe Gretel's not one of the brothers. Maybe it's just Red and the Huntsman. Because then Huntsman would be second oldest. No, because Cinderella's only 23. Huntsman's 29. Oh, yeah. So, what? like, the Huntsman isn't being accounted for in these siblings. Is, maybe he's not her brother? We'll find out. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. So tell us, who is this Prince Charming you're going on about? I don't know. He left before I could ask him his name. I let out a small sigh. If only I'd gone after him instead of zoning out like a dance. I could have interrogated- I mean, asked him for his name. What a shame. So, uh, that's unfortunate. So where did you meet him then? In the forest! Oh. I'm imagining Red is not in the room with them. Oh, I mean, she has four brothers here. Uh, I- Also- she just said four brothers. It doesn't mean that those are the only brothers she has. It's just that only four of them are in the room right now. I told my four siblings everything that happened. It doesn't mean that there's not more siblings. It's just that there's four of them right now. So five people in the room currently, but there could be more. I still anyway. think the Huntsman's not being accounted for because it says Cinderella's the oldest son, period. Yeah, it's still... that is weird. Yeah. Anyway. I answered with a smile. And in response... No, oh, no, oh, his here. Okay. In the forest. The second son, Red Riding Hood, looked up from his food in alarm. Can I ask you something? 
the look on his face was dead serious. It, it, yeah. But it was too late to curse my folly. Are you saying you were walking through the forest alone at night? Uh, well... I falter. You were, weren't you? It, it, yeah. The look on his face told me he could see right through me, so I answered honestly. Why? So I could get home sooner? But it's dark in the forest at night. Yes, thank you. It's dark at night. <laughs> I mean, technically it was even at evening at most. It's winter. The forest is pitch black by evening. You have no idea how much danger you put yourself in. It is winter. He has a point there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sorry. If apologies could fix everything, we wouldn't need the police. Stop being a bootlicker, you. Yeah, quit being a police bootlicker, please. I, I know. Slumping my shoulders, I endured the lecture from Red. It's completely right, of course. I had no room to argue. Having experienced it firsthand, the forest was indeed dark and scary at night. Ooh. But if I hadn't gone there, I would have met my Prince Charming. There are wicked wolves lurking in that forest. What if they attacked you? Uh, I would fight them. See? <laughs> and then she starts whipping around her hair with a stick in it. <laughs> I dropped into karate stance. You are a proper young lady. And ladies do not get into fights with wolves and make it out alive. <laughs> Well, they I could. I don't think it has to do with gender, Red. I think it has more to do with the fact that she's a human being, but okay. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> I don't know about that. I can think of a few female martial artists who could totally take a wolf or two. <laughs> <laughs> but not three, not more than three. Come on, Red. Let her off the hook. I'm sure she knows what she did was wrong. Cinderella stopped watching from the sidelines and stepped in to help. But... And you won't be doing that again, now will you, Reikyu? Even Kaguya was joining in now. And there was only one thing I could really say. Oh, probably not. You're severely underestimating wolves, Reikyu. <laughs> I shook my head, beaming. Oi, dude. Okay, definitely not. I hastily corrected myself. Mm. Well done. Yes, yes. That's our good girl. <laughs> I grinned as Kaguya struck my hair. As for Red, he was still giving me a stern look, and I could tell there was more he wanted to say. <laughs> At first I flinched under his steely gaze, before deciding to formally apologize for my actions. I I'm sorry for making you all worry. I couldn't really blame Red for being angry. For one thing, I had disobeyed his orders, and for another, I knew his anger was proof of how much he cared. He let out a heavy sigh. Okay, thanks for caring about me, Red. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, oops. <laughs> I could just go back to the technology. Button. Technology. But the button won't work anyway. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm just glad nothing bad happened to you. Wait, we've had the power to time travel from that menu and we haven't been using it? Yeah.
sorry, I was in shock. <laughs> Blushing, he turned away. Hehe. <laughs> I was so happy, I couldn't help but giggle. Cinderella, the eldest son. Red Riding Hood, the second son. Kaguya, the third son. They were my kind, loving, older brothers. And not for the younger no. shit. <laughs> now then. Once the matter was settled, Cinderella changed the subject. Can one of you please do something about him? Huh? I looked in the direction he was pointing. Not happening, 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 not happening. Gretel, the youngest simply was sitting on the floor and staring in the space. Oh no, not Gretel! Oh, right. No wonder it felt like someone was missing. He appears to be muttering something under his breath. Uh, yeah, I reckon so. It was so creepy, none of us knew how to react. For the time being, I figured I could at least listen in to what Greta was saying. The sister is my future bride. There's no way she'd fall for some prince charming. If looks are all that mattered, I'd say I'm pretty handsome myself. Prince charming my ass. Can we throw him away? Yes, please. Can we go back to ignoring him? <sighs> he's still got the syscon, god damn it. Yeah. He's he's still he's still affected by that syscon <laughs> shit. What's, going, what's wrong with green? Green's a very soothing color. You don't like it? What? Should I douse myself in bleach? I'm just kinda On the bright side, hopefully he just gets that crazy under control real quick, or we just bonk him on the head and knock him out for the rest of the rest of the chapter. I didn't set up a thing. Never mind. Anyways. What were you trying to do? <laughs> Change the color of my VTubers model from green to pink. Oh, okay. Because I used to have that set up, but then my model broke and I had to reset up everything. <sighs> You know what they say, let Grumpy Gretel's lie. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> They're just like, we're choosing to ignore this. Yeah. <laughs> and so the rest of us went back to our dinner, mildly creeped out by Gretel's antics. Yeah. Yes, you should be. Cinderella, the oldest son, again. Red Riding Hood, the second son, again. Kaguya, the third son, again. And this little shit. <laughs> I mean, Gretel, the youngest son. And me, the eldest daughter. The five of us lived together peacefully in a cafe in the looking glass world. With this primo location and a top tourist destination, we got a fair amount of business. Each day was more chaotic than the last, but for me, it was a happy and fulfilling life. I feel like it was right around here that I fell. The next day, I visited the lunch on my lunch, visited the forest on my lunch break. Visited <laughs> the lunch on your forest break. <laughs> I mean, that's where the food is. People tell me. <laughs> In hopes of another encounter with my prince, of course. Since we met in this forest, it stood to reason that I might find him here. The culprit always returns to the scene of the crime, as they say. But he, he, he saved you. Reluctantly, I thought. Reluctantly, but he still saved you. It's not going to return here. <laughs> He's going to be like, yep, cool. <laughs> so I sat down in a random spot, took out my pack of lunch, and waited for my reunion with Prince Charming. Night fell. 
Mm-hmm. An hour later, I packed up and headed back to the cafe. I guess I can't really expect life to be that easy. Apple in hand, I let out a depressed sigh. Apple, huh? Apple. In the end, Prince Charming never turned up. I had seen this coming, obviously, but it was still disappointing. I just had a funny thought. It would be really funny if, like, only episode three was available for Mac and none of the other ones. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'd just be like, who the fuck are these guys? Why Why is the <laughs> little guy just on the ground saying that Reiki's, that the MC is going to be his future wife? Yeah. Kaguya, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just for further apples, you know, it would have been funny. Yeah. Apples. Apples. I had seen this coming, obviously. Was Was something wrong? Yes! <laughs> the next thing I knew, Red was peering at me curiously from beneath his red riding hood. The color red reminded me of apples, which reminded me of my prince. It pained me to even look at him. What does it have to do with your prince charming with whoever? His gaze turned sharp. Yeah. I didn't want to lie to him, but at the same time I didn't want him worrying for me any more than he already did. That reminds me, those wild herbs and vegetables you picked have been a huge hit with the customers. Oops. Uh, to take my mind off things, I changed the subject. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> it's cool, I caught I caught glimpse of it for like half a second, so I was able to get most of the sentence from that. <laughs> oh or, yes, so it seems. Fortunately, he went with it. Today I found some winter brambleberries. They'll make for a lovely jam. Jam <laughs> He showed me his basket full of berries. <gasps> I want jam. <laughs> I want just nothing but bread and jam. Fair. Wow, thank you. I'm sure Gretel will be thrilled once he stops staring in the corner. <laughs> so that we I don't know about that. <laughs> oh no, he's still there! <laughs> he glanced over at the corner of the room. Oh no. Sister, 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 sister. You know what, if Gretel has to be here, at least just broke it and can't do shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's what he deserves. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Gretel. <laughs> Gretel repeated the word over and over like some kind of incantation. <laughs> this has lasted for several hours now. <laughs> It appears he wasn't mentally prepared to handle the possibility that you might find someone special. Yes. <laughs> I'm flattered, but also kind of terrified. Yes, yeah. Ron. We played that route. <laughs> uh, Gretel. Summoning my courage, I decided to speak with him. Yes. <laughs> Sister. As I approached, he looked up at me with empty eyes. Uh oh. He was my precious baby brother, and that's what got you in this position to begin with. Mm -hmm. As such, it was my job as his big sister to cheer him up. Smacks him in the face. <laughs> Listen, Gretel. I obviously love my prince in a way no one else can ever possibly compare. But you're still my little brother, okay? So you play, but I know better. Instead of worrying about me, you've spent your lunch break in the forest, looking for him. Is he psychic or has he been stalking me? Uh, the latter. Yeah. Come on, Gretel, cheer up. Your big sister will buy you anything you want. And there comes the coddling. 
something. Nemo. He perked up. Yep, anything. Then give me a wedding ring. I had a feeling about this, but I was willing to bite the bullet anything for my baby brother. Okay, then. I want an $18 Belgian waffle. Really? Good grief, that's pricey. What restaurant sells Belgian waffles for $18? You know what, that is a... That's the better question. <laughs> that is a better question. Okay, sure. If you want a waffle, then I'll buy you a waffle. I had a feeling this would clear out the contents of my wallet, but I just have to suck it up. Anything for my baby brother. And a $20 special parfait. Not the and. What kind of luxury ingredients do they put into a $20 parfait? Sure, you can even order the special parfait. And the $10 house tea sp house specialty. Okay, now that sounds like a ripoff. I can make you some tea anytime you want. We have all the ingredients right here at home. We have tea at home, Gretel. <laughs> Tucking his knees up to his chin, he stared at the floor. Oh, come on, Gretel. I, I was just kidding. Of course I'll treat you to the $10 special tea. As I hastily amended my statement, Gretel looked up gleefully. Fucking manipulator. <laughs> well, I guess if you really insist, I'll forgive you. Bribery complete. Successful transaction. And at almost $50, it was a rather expensive bribe indeed. <laughs> so now that you've agreed to take me on a, out on a date, what day are you available? Can we stuff in the closet? As it turned out, my little brother could be surprisingly shrewd. Just then, Cinderella walked in. Good, bonk this bitch. Hey, don't just sit around in here. Everybody, get back to work. Yeah, Kage was the only one doing any work around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Just then, someone must have slammed their elbow against the table or something, because a bowl fell to the floor with an ear splitting bang. What was that? Are we under attack? Right. <laughs> oh. Which part of you left the damn bowl there? Oh, so Cinderella knocked it over. The flower from the bowl flew like it into the air like a smoke bomb. Smoke bomb! <laughs> Rest in peace, Cinderella. It's nice knowing him. Rest in piss, Gretel. I mean, I, I, I can't see! Careful, flowers actually flammable. Yes. There you go. Eek! Did someone just touch my butt? <laughs> Your butt? <laughs> red, please. <laughs> no, Red Riding Hood. Trapped inside a cloud of white, we all started to panic. White made me think of snow, and snow made me think of the, my friend's charming. <laughs> What's all this then? I can hear you making a fuss from the dining area. I can just imagine the disappointment on Kaguya's face while kicking in on this. And they're just oh. all in a powder cloud? Uh, blimey! What's happened? <laughs> With the whole room coated in flour, all I could really do was laugh. Fair. Quick! Strike a match! Oh dear. Before I knew it, the sun had set and night had fallen. It was just past 9 p.m. It's almost 10 p.m., but cluster EQ. It was just past 9 p.m. <laughs> we had all eaten our dinner, completed our prep work for tomorrow, and gone back to our rooms.
I crept out into the hall, careful not to make a sound. Oh, this bitch. She's going to sneak out to the forest to find her Prince Charming. Mm -hmm. Slowly, I snuck down the stairs towards the front door. And where do you think you're going? But the clap of my ass cheeks alerted all the guards. <laughs> <laughs> huh? There I found Red waiting for me. I was just going to take the trash out. Sneakily. That, this was the excuse I had prepared in advance. It's a terrible excuse. Oh, yeah. I already handled it Yep, exactly. He had seen right through me. <sighs> Imagine you're planning to go to the forest to see Prince Charming. Are, you? Are we going to have a chaperone? He sighed in frustration. You know your chances of finding him are abysmal low, but you can't bear to just sit around you. So you feel compelled to take action for your own sanity, right? Yes. <laughs> he had seen right through me. Part 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Bingo! Grimacing, I shot him the finger guns. <laughs> Hey, it's been a while since we've seen finger guns. Mm -hmm. Spare me your I've warned you again and again about the dangers of the forest at night. So why do you insist on going? True love. True love and stupid naive bitch syndrome. <laughs> His sharp glare made me flinch. After a long moment wherein we glared daggers at each other, figuratively, Sorry, I'll go back to my room. Runs out the front door <laughs> in a full sprint to the forest. <laughs> I trudge back the way I came. Wait. <gasps> Chaperone? Huh? Glancing back over my shoulder, I found Red scowling sulkily. I'll go with you. You'll be safe for traveling with someone who knows those woods. And they could bring a light! <laughs> you don't mind? He's gonna say something like, you're just gonna sneak out anyway. <laughs> you just go out your window. Yeah. I stared back, stunned by the unexpected offer. No, I must certainly mind. It hurts to see you so Fair. It's fair. As he spoke, he adjusted his riding hood. This was his little nervous tick that he did whenever he was embarrassed. But I kept walking. Mm -hmm. Right, Q. I made it to the third stair. Then I turned around. Oh, Red! You're my favorite brother in the whole world! And Reiki is being a manipulative bitch to get what she wants from her brothers. Mm -hmm. And threw myself onto him. Uh, don't, don't claim up over me. Oh, Red. I knew I could always count on my brothers. Follow along behind me, please. And watch your step. Because the footing is poor. Is it? Got it! Carrying a lantern, Red illuminated the path. Kind of spooky in here, isn't it? Me meanwhile, they see they shine the light in Snow's direction. <laughs> I glanced around as I spoke. Unsurprisingly, the forest proved to be pitch black and would have been practically untraversable without a light source. Meanwhile, Snow just walking through, no light source needed. <laughs> Not only that, but with all the animal noises and rustling sounds, it was giving off a total horror movie vibe. I wonder why. Right. See, I told you these woods were dangerous. Well, good thing I've got you with me.
I clutched the hem of his riding hood. Good grief. But I could tell from his tone that he was that he was pleased to hear it. <laughs> Deep down, Red just likes to feel needed. Doesn't everyone? That's true, though. Pretty sure that's everyone, though. That is true. That's that's why we're a social creature. We like the feeling of helping others and being needed. That reminds me, Riku. You must be cold in that attire. Shall I lend you my writing hood? What? Really? You sure? This was Red Riding Hood we were talking about. His riding hood was his trademark thing! If I took it away from him, he'd just be a generic pretty boy. I don't mind. I wouldn't want my little sister to get He pulls out his second hood <laughs> and throws it at her. <laughs> and so my brother pulled off his riding hood. <gasps> Wait, are we going to see Red without the hood? It's like, oh. Good thing I brought a spare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we knew we carried a spare. Yeah. He put on another hood out of his wicker basket and draped it around my shoulders. Th thanks. I like that he just carries a second one yeah. so he doesn't have to take his hood off. <laughs> and that way the artists don't have to draw another picture of Red. Mm -hmm. I was kind of rare to get the rare get a rare glimpse of hoodless Red, so I was a tiny bit disappointed. Me too, honey, me too. <laughs> we need to know if he still has ears. Oh yeah, he has the dog ears. I forgot about that. <laughs> you have to wonder what your prince charming was doing out here in the woods when you encountered him. Just vibing, tripping people with apples. <laughs> Beats me. Maybe he was trying to get home before dark. Same as me. I answer from beneath my hood. Look at me. I'm a ninja. Now perhaps he lives in the area. Gosh, I hope so. Worst worst case scenario, he was a tourist who lived far away. Yep, that is the worst case scenario. Or he's already gone. So, what does he look like anyway? Very white. <laughs> you can't just say that, Riku. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong, but like uh, yeah. the way that she said it. <laughs> you, you heard me crack up when I was trying to say it. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> what you say? Yeah. White skin, white hair, white clothes, slim build, and a face so perfect it was practically sculpted by God himself. The memory of his handsome features made me giggly dream giggle dreamily. Giggly dreamily. <laughs> giggly dreamily. You <laughs> did Is there a chance you was simply a ghost red, please? Maybe. What? I blinked. <sighs> I just don't think when we personally go wandering through the woods. Dressed all in white. Yeah, their clothes would get dirty. <laughs> I'm literally wearing all white right now. No, you have a red hood on. I was gonna say. Hmm. I pinched the hem of my dress and held it up. Yes, well, you are not normal. Be nice. Yes. Red shrugged and kept walking. <laughs> Besides, everyone knows you're like ghost or pure white. Ghost? He's not a ghost! He helped untangle me from a tree branch. He broke a tree branch, girl. Let her You had to herself. deal with that shit when you got home. Let her gaslight herself. <laughs> Let her <laughs> gaslight <laughs> herself. Was he floating in midair? Come on, Red. No! I don't think so. Just then, one of the nearby shrubs started to rustle, and a dark figure dashed out. Oh, well, they were dark, so it couldn't be snow. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> My scream echoed through the quiet forest.
After a moment of silence, Red snickered. Don't worry. It was just a fox. We get a lot of them there. Dog running cat software? <laughs> oh, just a fox. I'm surprised the tomboy like you actually has some potent sensibilities. Tomboy scream too, you know. Yeah. Now you understand how frightening the forest can be. This time it was just a fox, but next time it could be a criminal or a sex pervert. Not sad. Absolutely not. There might be hot boys in the forest. That said, you probably don't have to worry about ghosts. Probably. <laughs> As he smugly lectured me, there was a rustling sound, and a white figure appeared in the darkness. Okay, now that's snow. Yeah, I think Red is definitely going to scream. If he if he's glowing, pale, pasty, and floating, it's snow. Yep, and Red 100% is going to scream. Yeah. Kimi wo. It's you. It's him! <laughs> the ghost! <laughs> <laughs> We knew it was coming. <laughs> Ryan and I both started screaming our cries over loud. It's, it's him! The ghost! <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Scr scrunching up his handsome features, the beautiful young man covered his ears. Oh. Fair. Understandable. Have a nice day. He is very frail. Mm -hmm. White hair, white skin, white clothes. His appearance was evocate of an angel or snow sprite. He was, without a doubt, a ghost! Oh, right. Uh, my Prince Charming! I recognize you. <laughs> the text box. He looked at me. His eyes widened slightly. Oh god, am I ugly? I don't have a mirror on me. You know the girl who face planted on the ground out here, right? <laughs> I slumped my shoulders. Oh, so you remember me? Twirls hair. <laughs> no, well, kind of. I definitely fell, but I didn't face plant. I'm a happy tree hugger girl. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hug any trees. If anything, the tree hugged me. <laughs> so true. Anyway, my name is Riku Arasu. Thanks again for helping me yesterday. I couldn't let this conversation go around in circles, so I took the initiative and introduced myself. So cool. <laughs> and then it just starts walking away. <laughs> he muttered cutly, uh, curtly and looked away. End of conversation. <laughs> Successful conversation with Snow. <laughs> Granted, I wasn't expecting to be very chatty given our previous interaction, but still, could we at least respond with something? Either way, it was too early to give up just yet. I need to keep the conversation going. Oh boy. Um, I think we ask him what he's doing because if we just ask him his name, he's just gonna be like Snow, and then that's yep. it. If we want a conversation, we ask him where, what he's doing. Yeah. So tell me, Prince, what are you doing out in the woods so late at night? So they'll keep you up much. Touche. I wasn't prepared for him to counter with that. <laughs> He had a point, though. From his perspective, we are essentially doing the same thing. <laughs> well, you see, I... Also, what's with the prince thing? He cut in sharply. Oh, you mean just now? I decided to roll with it. See, we're getting him talking. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, um, it's a nickname I used to refer to you. I guess anyone would be weirded out if a total stranger called them Prince for no reason. Yeah. Saki, if I just came up to you one day, I was like, MY PRINCE! I mean, you're not a stranger. True. 
But imagine if I was. <laughs> Come to think of it, he still hasn't told me his name! Damn it. But that was the moment he chose to introduce himself at last, because he doesn't want to be called Prince anymore. Shirayuki. <laughs> Snow White. What? My name. It's Snow White. Snow White. <laughs> Almost if he had read my mind. Maybe he did. Snow White. What a perfect name for a prince. The name fit his aesthetic to a T. Clearly, his mom was a genius. Ooh, maybe we don't talk about his mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna keep going back to the Prince thing, huh? Yeah, until you release several music albums. <laughs> Oops. That's what I get for calling him Prince Charming over and over. I can start calling you Snow White from now on if you prefer. I looked at him probingly. I mean, why else would he give his name? True. I don't care either way. Permission obtained. Who's he? A hunter! <laughs> the Prince Charming gaze drifted behind me to red. This is my older brother. Your brother. He blinked in surprise. <gasps> Snow has an emotion? Nice to meet you. My name is Red Riding Hood, and I'm Reiki's brother. Red inclined his head politely, his hood hanging low over his eyes. Almost like he was pointedly avoiding con eye contact. Because he was. Snow, meanwhile, direct eye contact <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> uh, what's wrong, Red? No, you... nothing. He stammered awkwardly. Something was definitely off about him. And I was just kind of expecting your Prince Charming to be a ma MANGA! <laughs> no. No, not MANGA. The last part was the sound he made after Prince Charming silenced him. <gasps> what? Did Snow just punch him? <laughs> <laughs> I by which I mean he took his book and flung it at my brother's head. <laughs> Snow chose violence. His pitch was so flawless it took my breath away. <laughs> well, Red's gone. Yep. The sound snapped me back to reality. Uh, Red? I hastily ran over to him, but it was too late. He was unconscious. Damn. Uh oh. Well, uh... Holding my brother in my arms, I looked up at Prince Charming. <laughs> he stared down coldly at his victim. <laughs> Heek! His gaze was so icy, I nearly froze over. I am a man. He is a man, Sakya. <laughs> his voice was ice cold, too. Yeah, I know. Obviously. Intimidated, I nodded eagerly. Arisu. Arisu. Yes? What is it, Prince? I straightened up sharply. Grab that book for me. Yes, Your Highness. Uh-oh. Like a servant, I picked up the book off the ground and handed it back to him. I, I'm not sure if you want to say like a servant in this context. Uh, yeah. Thanks. The chill in the air faded away. N no problem. There was a long moment of silence, and then he turned and started walking away. Fair. Wait, where are you going? to do whatever he was doing here. Is it any of your business? Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Nope. Well, uh, will I see you again? 
I called after him desperately. We'd only just been reunited. I don't want to lose him again. Good question. I'd say it's up to you. You reply without even looking back. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me what I want to see. Tell me what I want to hear. Oh, snow oh is this from Snow? Yeah. After we moved to the looking glass world, going to the lake became part of my daily schedule. The lake was situated within a primeval forest, with water so clear, and reflected the trees upside down like a mirror. Almost as though an upside down world was trapped just beneath the surface. I love to gaze out at it. If I reached out to it, could I pass through to the other side? The other side of what? The lake. Bro, you have to swim. <laughs> I thought about her. I had a feeling I would see her again at some point. I was expecting it to come so soon. The encounter thrilled me. And when we parted ways, I left a hole in my heart. <gasps> I never imagined she would make me feel this way. But still, some questions remained. She was out walking through the dark forest with a man in a riding hood, who she claimed was her brother. But why? And why was she dressed like that? When her eyes met, her whole face lit up. Was she looking for me specifically? The possibility- Yes! <laughs> the possibility warmed my heart. Right from the moment I laid eyes on her, I thought she was utterly adorable. Oh god, we have to romance an oblivious person. <laughs> Porcelain skin. And, and trust me, I know how hard that is. I'm an oblivious person. <laughs> <laughs> Porcelain skin, a pure white dress, soft, thick, light brown hair, and those red and blue eyes. They sparkled like gems. Wait, are we heterochromatic? Kind of. Like, the way Reiki is drawn, like, the main sorry, part- I gotta look this up. The main part of the iris is blue, but then there's, like, a little portion that's pink I was gonna red. say, because I thought her eyes were the same. One second. Yeah, they are Iris the same, do... but it still can be heterochrome. Heterochrome. Okay, so it's just- it's two-toned. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, because I don't think we were heterochromatic, but I had to double check here. <laughs> well, having the two tones of both eyes is still heterochromia. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm looking at all the CGs now. <laughs> oh dear. Be careful. I know, I already saw a spoiler. <laughs> oh dear. It, it, I'm in dangerous territory. Also, I see like this. This really cute one that has uh, red and MC, where MC is also bundled up in a red coat. So maybe we'll see it soon, actually. No oh boy. If my mother's... Oh, wait, this is still you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when my mother saw her, I just know she'd give her a big hug and say, You look like a princess. <gasps> she is a princess. When I returned to my home in the shadowy forest, I heard a voice calling for me. Bro, this is your home? Shirayuki? Shirayuki? Oh, sorry. Snow White? Snow White? Where are you? It was my mother. Evidently, she was looking for me. I'm right here, mother. As I revealed myself, she allowed out a sigh of relief. <sighs> what? We actually get a we actually get a CG of the mother. Yeah, huh? Huh? We've we never had a new character. Well, sprite, not CG. But... Well, new sprite introduced, especially for NPCs. And most of the time, they just leave them off screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried about you. Where were you? She pulled me into a tight hug. 
I could have just been honest and told her I was at the lake. But instead, what left my lips was an apology. I'm sorry. Deep down, I was scared that she would pull away from me. That she would abandon me. Nothing frightened me more than the thought of infuriating her to the point that she threw me out. You know you're not supposed to go outside. Didn't you promise me you wouldn't? It's dangerous out there. She frowned sadly as she scolded me. My heart ached unbearably at the thought that I made my beloved mother worry. I'm sorry. Don't tell me. Did you go to the did you go by yourself to the lake again? There was a pause, and then she drew her hand to my face. Smack. Thinking she would hit me, I flinched, but she simply struck my cheek. Abuse. You are the cutest, most adorable child in all the lands. That's why you mustn't go outside. You have to understand it's for your own good. The world is filled with wicked wolves. A sweet, innocent soul like you will be torn apart in seconds. I know, mother. Wait, is this supposed to be like evil queen? Maybe. Indeed, I knew. I know exactly how sinful it was to disobey her. Alright. Now, now that we've seen things from Snow's perspective, what are, so, what are some thoughts that you're having? I can't say because I know a spoiler because of trigger warning stuff. Damn it. Well, then I'm going to say what I think. I think the mother's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think he's, I think he's having some, like, Delulu breakdown. He could. And... He's just doing his normal behavior pattern because it's just what he's used to. But he just can't come to terms with that that she's dead. That's and possible. that's just my personal headcanon right now. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Oh, Snow White is so dreamy. The next day while working at the cafe, I sighed like a girl smitten. <gasps> Which is to say, I was quite literally smitten with him. Every time I closed my eyes, I saw my prince's beautiful face, illuminated by lantern light. <laughs> ah, Snow White. Did she just wait for Red to, like, regain consciousness before going back home? <laughs> I think she just carried him, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> my head is that she just carried him all the way back, put him in bed, and just, he woke up and thought it was all a dream. <laughs> Maybe. Snow White? I snapped back to my senses to find Gretel scowling at me. Gretel, aka clean your brother number one. Who's number two? <laughs> if he knew I was meeting up with my prince, he try he might try to lock me up inside the house. <laughs> 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 what, what a weird, oddly specific uh scenario you painted there, Riku. Yeah, come on, Riku. Well, Gretel would never <laughs> Never lock you in a house against your will. God damn it, Kate. <laughs> it knows what it's doing. Uh, no, I said, uh, donut bites. Donut bites sure are good, aren't they? Donut bites. That's a really bad cover, AQ. Yeah, it doesn't even sound like <laughs> Shirayuki. Maybe in Japanese it sounds closer, but no. I doubt it. It felt like a pretty flimsy cover, but fortunately for me, Gretel Dessert Lover latched onto it immediately. Oh, Gretel. Ah, <laughs> Yes, I completely agree. I love donut bites. Their airy, fluffy texture. They're round, their small, round shape and golden color. But most of all, the light, elegant sweetness. Good thing there's something he loves more than his sister. Sweets. Mm -hmm. Donut plates are the perfect dessert that can work with any flavor combination. Truly the baby's breath in a dessert bouquet. 
Only a true connoisseur can appreciate the depths of donut bites. You never cease to amaze me, sister. I think my Gretel voice got better. I'm not sure I should be proud of that. Uh, you think so? As Gretel rambled at me with his eyes sparkling, I struggled to think of a response. So that. I know. I'll make a raspberry filled donut bites for our next dessert. Or maybe custard? Any requests, sister? That does sound good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, right? For dessert? Um, let me think. Honestly, I'm kind of in the mood for snow cones. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> snow cones made me think of snow, and snow made me think of Snow White, and thinking of Snow White made my face turn red because I thought of snow. Snow? I was thinking of snow once. It turned my face white because I was thinking of Snow White. Oh, do not though. Yeah, I mean, I don't. It's not necessarily just Google doing its whole way to literal thing, but it still doesn't sound like Shirayuki at all, so. Yeah. It's still a very flimsy cover. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I guess it'd be silly to eat snow cones in the winter. No, fuck that. Go eat the snow cones. I shook my head at myself. However, I Winter is the perfect season for snow cones. Ice cold snow cones in a warm, toasty house. The very pinnacle of luxury. Wait, they had a similar and it's right outside. Before. They had a similar conversation before where it was ice cream without snow cones. I think so. Yeah. Look, cold food during the cold month. Fucking phenomenal. Oh, I agree, but. I have nothing but respect for you, sister! Your taste is flawless! Then maybe you'll like Snow White. <laughs> this only seemed to excite him more. Uh, you... you think so? So desu! I do indeed! Evidently, the King of Sweets had a lot to say regarding seasonal desserts. Oh, God, this is the King of Sweets. And he's mm. not wrong. <laughs> yes, I just had an epiphany. Oh boy. Now then, sister. What's up? I just thought of a new recipe, so I'll need you to leave the kitchen for a while. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> Oh, this is actually the best possible scenario for you, because she's just like, see you, and then just runs to the forest. Oh boy. He flashed me his most charming smile. Uh, go on now, hurry! Once it's ready, you'll be the first to taste it. Huh? What? But the cafe? I didn't even have time to come up with a counter-argument before he pushed me bodily from the room. <laughs> Don't worry. If anyone orders anything, just give them a dump of cup of rip off the ten dollar tea over Kaguya's head voucher for their trouble. I'm sure they'll be satisfied. What the fuck was that sentence? Because I'm pretty sure I read that right, but like, what the fuck was that sentence? Let's see. Don't worry if anybody orders anything. Just give them a dump of cup of rip off ten dollar tea over Kaguya's head voucher for their trouble. I'm sure they'll be satisfied. What? I guess they have a service where you can dump tea over Kaguya's head, but specifically rip off ten dollar tea. Oh, so like cheap tea. Got it. Yeah. Poor Kaguya. Poor Kaguya. <laughs> I knew that tea was a rip off. Oh, because it's the ten dollar tea that that he wanted her to buy. Mm hmm. But he ignored me and shut the door in my face. I think Gretel is calling the tea overpriced, and I guess it's Kaguya's fault somehow. I I guess it, it's it's never Kaguya's fault. No. Nope. Kaguya's baby. <laughs> <sighs> Good grief! 
I let out a big melodramatic sigh and slumped my soldier shoulders. Da, da, da. Soldiers. Just, <laughs> yeah, just so you know, that is a common tick with me. Anytime I have to say shoulders, I often say soldiers, and that is just a tick that is carried over from childhood. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. I just could not say that word for some reason. <laughs> it's okay. The demon of sweets was just as passionate about making sweets as he was about eating them. Yep. Nothing wrong with that, of course. But he had this one little quirk. He refused to let anyone watch him make them. It's the drugs. Yeah, the drugs, baby. <laughs> At one point, the rest of the family debated whether or not he was lacing them with drugs. They still taste amazing, so we decided not to worry about it. I think that's more reason to worry about it, but okay. Look, they're not dangerous well, drugs. I see you're working hard. Just then I made eye contact with Red as he returned from his shopping trip. Trip. Welcome home! The kitchen's off limits at the moment. Stim up. I know. He set his wicker basket on the floor. Naniko. Did you need something? He squinted at me dubiously as I stared at him. Hey, big brother? No. I didn't even ask yet! I pouted. I already know what you're going to say. You want me to escort you into the woods so you can meet with your prince, correct? Actually, I was going to ask if I could go by myself this time. Let's give him firmer now. Absolutely not. <laughs> he glared at me sharply. How many times must I tell you? The force is dangerous at night. What if something happened to you? <laughs> okay, then. Will you come with me? <sighs> I see. Say like, okay, then I'll do the more dangerous thing. Well, you're not doing that. Okay, can we do this slightly less dangerous thing? <laughs> <laughs> the old bait and switch, you know? Yeah. He stumbled over his words. My point is, the answer is no, and that's final. He 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 he. How come? I mean, Snow threw a book at him. I mean, true. And knocked him out with a book, too. Yeah. He still has the bruise. <laughs> you came with me last time, didn't you? Since the opening, I started to press him. Dun dun. He pursed his lips and fell silent. And unless I was seeing things, he, he was looking a little pale. Just swing by? The wolves do not. We cannot. Even just for a few minutes? Not, not even it. for a few minutes. Oh, fine. At this, Red smiled in relief. Uh, no. That means she's gonna go behind your back. Thank you for understanding. You're a good girl. Oh, yeah? Then where's my head pad? So true. Head pads. Nah. With an innocent grin, I spin my arms wide and wave my reward. Head pads! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Relics is faster. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Kaguya called me a good girl, he always stroked my hair until I melted. No oh my. Not happening. I clucked my tongue in frustration. Clucked? I normally hear it as just clicked, but clucked is a new one. It is, it is normally clicked, because it's like... Yeah, I think it might have been a typo. <laughs> but uh, did you literally just go... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, she snuck out. Fine was not the same thing as I promise I won't go. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Red. I 
know you're worried about me, but I'm not. But I'm not gonna get my prince charming if I just sit around at home like a good girl. And so that night, I snuck out to the forest. I like to think she clicked towards the back of her palette. Okay, so something like. Oh! After nearly an hour of searching, I found a lone figure sitting at the lake pier. Now then, seek attack! Internally, I was overjoyed to have found him again, but I decided to play it cool and kept my composure. She's just like, like, doing like a a snazzy walk by him, just like, oh, what are you doing out here? <laughs> <laughs> I was just off. chastercising. <laughs> oh dear. Good evening! Just then, he started to lean towards the lake. No! Huh? Don't do it, Prince! I dashed over to him, seized him by the scuff of his neck, and hauled him back up. Ah! The momentum sent me tumbling backwards onto my rear, but I didn't care. If it were the 2000 rank, you would definitely glomp people. You're not wrong. But she but... did glomp Alice in the first episode. <laughs> she did. <laughs> sure, winter had only just set in, but the weather was still cold, especially at night. Jumping into the lake was practically a death sentence. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God. Are you okay? My prince laid on his back near my feet. Almost like an impromptu lap pillow scene. Hallelujah! Oh dear. I mean, you're choking me by the collar. But other than that... <laughs> oh! I'm sorry! Hastily, I relinquished my grip. Newly freed, he rose to his feet. Are you hurt? As he spoke, he offered me his hand. N no I'm okay. I took it and was startled to find it ice cold. <gasps> Not only that, but he was much stronger than I was expecting to be given his scrawny arms. N thank you. Apparently he's more masculine than I thought. My heart fluttered. Wait, what am I doing? Great question, Riku. I was so busy reveling in my own personal shoujo manga, I nearly forgot about the main issue here. <sighs> it's not safe to swim at the lake at night! Dore. Who are you referring to? You, obviously! He averted his gaze inside. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't gonna. I was just looking at the water. We got a casual snow dude. Let's go. <laughs> what? Dude? Hold on. I'll show you. Dude. Whoa. He dragged me by the hand to the edge of the pier. Together we peered down just to see a mirror image on the water. See? He was looking at the world in the reflection. The moonlight was bright tonight, illuminating our silhouettes in the rippling water. Oh, I see. In other words, I had jumped to conclusions. <sighs> well, it's definitely pretty. I attempted to gloss over my mistake. In the water, for a fleeting moment, I saw a hint of grief in his expression. Is something wrong? I sat up and looked at him. He answered without looking at me. Had I upset him? Uh, listen, um... I'm sorry for hassling you over this misunderstanding. If I had angered him, 
And he deserves an apology. True. It's, it's fine. He well, doesn't know any nice. better. Oh, Prince Charming! Touched, I nearly leaped into his arm, but managed to stop myself. Hello, Mingo. How He's vibrating. <laughs> Welcome in, Mango. Anyway, we need a gun, it seems. His thick eyelashes fluttered as he spoke. Yep! I beamed. Gosh, I'm so happy to see you! I'm happy to see you, too. In the moonlight, his eyes glittered. While he did seem happy, he also seemed sort of sad. But why? Do you live around here? <gasps> Snow's initiating conversation? <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, totally! I live with my four brothers at the cafe downtown. Four brothers, huh? His tone seemed to imply something. So no one else? What about your parents? Yawn. One second. There we go. No, they don't live with us. Our family's a bit of a special case. See, my parents are both hunters. When they're not traveling for work, they live in a house in the big city. They don't really come out to see us much. You must be rich. Upper middle class, I'd say. But that money has given us a lot of freedom. It's a privilege, and I'm grateful for it. I see. What about you, Prince? Where do you live? Little college. The, 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 little the, the, the col college. <laughs> Shush. So you must live nearby. The conversation ended abruptly. Yay! Just when we were finally getting the ball rolling, he grabbed it and tossed it into the trash. Um, hello? I peered at him curio curiously. Your family must love you even What? <laughs> Your brothers, I mean. Otherwise, they wouldn't go out of their way to supervise you like this. <laughs> Wait, did they follow her? Baby. <laughs> oh. His game seemed to peer straight through me, or more accurate, straight over my shoulder into the distance. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's red! <laughs> Looking over my shoulder, I spotted a sliver of red fabric peeking out from behind a tree. Uh, there was no doubt in my mind. It was red. I'll be right back, okay? Sure thing. With my prince's blessing, I strode over to where my brother was hiding. <laughs> And then... Brother dearest. Pasting a smile into my face, I called out to him in a low tone. Uh, you're the one that snuck out. True. I'm just going to say this. It was my, what pray tell do you think you're doing voice. Uh, uh, yeah. I, uh, I can explain. <laughs> Crouched low and against a tree, he looked at me and began to panic. I started to feel guilty, like I was bullying him. You are. Yeah. But it's fine, because you're siblings. I'm not mad at you. I knew you were telling me. I continued my usual tone of voice. What? You did? <laughs> sure, it was dark out, but it was hard not to hear someone following you when they were trampling on dead leaves. Oh, so she did know. You followed me because you were worried about my safety, right? I appreciate it. 
Even in dim moonlight, I can see his face flush red. Yeah. No, no, I was, uh... Oh, Red, you're the cutest brother in the whole world. Gretel wishes to speak with you. <laughs> <laughs> so want to come with me? Smiley, I held out my hand. What? I mean, we already know you're here. You don't need to hide anymore. But what if he wa what if he likes hiding? I'm sorry, but I can't because of reasons. Because the bookworm threw a book at his head. <laughs> the blood drained from his face and he shook his head vigorously. <laughs> can't what? Can't be around my prince. At this, he nodded. I'm sorry. But he terrifies me in a way I can't explain. I don't want to go anywhere near him. Because he's a ghost! Not just a ghost, but a ghost with high precision aim. <laughs> with looks. High precision aim and a little bit of a short trigger. <laughs> Is it because he threw that book at you? <laughs> he pursed his lips together? Yep. Evidently, the book attack was something of a traumatic event for him. It knocked him out cold, so fair. <laughs> I, to be fair, if a book knocked me out cold, I'd also be like, yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't really blame him, but... It's okay, Red. He's not a wolf, and he's not going to bite. Now let's go. I'm not convinced that Snow wouldn't bite. It would have I mean, to be prompted, but... I was gonna say, if you back Snow into a corner and he wasn't chill with it, I'm pretty sure he'd bite. Yeah. I grabbed him by the arm. Ah! <laughs> no screaming. I know I'm a girl, but I'm still your sister. Due to his gynophobia, fear of girls, Red was deeply uncomfortable with any physical contact from women. Okay. Gay, gay, homosexual, gay. Wait, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. Dragging Red by the arm, I saluted to my prince with my free hand. <laughs> as soon as the two of them made eye contact, Red shrieked and hid behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this. Arisu. Arisu. Yes? What is it? Let's hold hands. <gasps> His hands are just cold. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing! I grasped his hands with both of mine. Your hands are warm. See, I told you his hands were just cold. <laughs> And your hands, and yours is nice and cold. Who do you say cold? Sexual misconduct. <laughs> <laughs> Get away. <laughs> oh, but Snow White ignored my brother's paranoid <laughs> screaming. <laughs> okay, so when you come back here again tomorrow night. Not happen. I absolutely, 100% will! Rain or shine, come hell or high water, I'll be there. I shouted to drown out what my brother was trying to say. <laughs> so, cool. See you tomorrow, then. <laughs> With an air of perfect composure, he let go of my hand and spun on his heel. Okay, see you tomorrow. And so my prince disappeared into the dark forest. This is already better than like, a good chunk of the stories you've read. <laughs> yeah. There's just them being cute. Mm -hmm. As for me, I waved eagerly until he was out of sight. And then... Oh, uh, sorry, Red. What were you going to say? Meanwhile, he's just staring daggers at her like... <laughs> Once we were alone, I checked in with him. Nothing. 
He pouted and looked away. Oh no. <laughs> she knew what she was doing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Back to snow. Mm -hmm. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me what I want to see. Tell me what I want to hear. I love to read. My favorite books were literary works about people and events, be they real or imagined. In other words, I love stories of all kinds. They say truth is stranger than fiction, but I didn't consider real life to be especially superior. Sure, it offered choices that books didn't, but books featured a narrowly constructed world that could handle the most outlandish of plot twists far more consistently than reality. True. Regardless of the outcome, I could shrug it off and say, that's just how the story goes. Thus, no matter what sort of emotional impact a book left on me at the end, it never truly mattered in the long run. Like a still lake, I would always regain my composure. And that emotional distance could make any tragedy beautiful. That day, I was rereading an old book for the umpteenth time. I hadn't gotten my hands on anything new recently. Most of the stories in here were incomplete. The readers were waiting on these authors to continue their work, yet the rate of publication had taken a nosedive. To be more precise, I hadn't released a new volume in months. How many times had I read this story, or this one? As much as I liked them, the more I read and reread them, the more I started to memorize all the details. Sitting on the floor, I grabbed a different book. Old, weathered volumes were scattered around everywhere. Some were my favorites, while others I didn't care for. If I had to reread something, I wanted it to be something I liked. Unfortunately, the one I grabbed turned out to be one of the boring ones. With a sigh, I slumped down onto my side. But just then, there was a knock at the door. I sat back up. Was he finally here? Hmm? Yeah. Come in. Hi, damn. With my permission, the door opened. I lowered my case to the books to avoid making eye contact. Not like I didn't already know who it was. His shoes entered the corner of my vision. Yo, Shiraiki. Interesting. <gasps> Huntsman? Hey there, Snow White. Welcome back, Yoshi. Huntsman. I closed my book and greeted him. With his ash gray hair and icy blue eyes. I found him flawlessly beautiful. I mean... <laughs> For the record though, his name was actually Ryoshi. That's why I like to call him Huntsman. It was a reference to his name's alternate meaning in Japanese. Here's another book I finished. Are they in a book club together? Maybe, that'd be cute. <laughs> As he spoke, he pulled a book from his bag. In my excitement, my voice rose up several more octaves than I normally would have. Oh, thank you. I already finished the books you brought last time, so it was really boring. <laughs> oh, he just wants to read. Mm -hmm. He took the book and looked down at the cover. The ultimate crossword on Tempest from Beginner's Master. Oh, it's another stupid puzzle book. Have I ever mentioned what terrible taste you have? Try reading something fun for a change. Damn! <laughs> Just pulling out that sword like... <laughs> Just like that, my excitement was snuffed out in an instant. He brought me a puzzle book last time in round two. I quickly deemed it boring. Of all the sad and depressing hobbies to have, he chose crossword puzzles. What a waste of flawless good looks. Puzzles were games, not books. Still fun, sure, but they weren't literature. True. True. And what I wanted, above all else, was a story. I kept trying to explain this to him, and he didn't seem to get it. And then instead of waiting for me to finish mine, how about you pick something out yourself? I don't mind buying it for you. Saves me the trouble of having to choose and read it. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I don't feel the need to read any one particular book. Not then quit complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just giving you my opinion. I tilted my head at him, and he scowled. 
We really need to do something about your lack of filter. Otherwise, we're gonna cause problems. According to him, I had a caustic attitude. Personally, I thought caustic meant you were actively trying to hurt people. Surely I couldn't be caustic then, since I had no ill to tell. No, you definitely hurt people. I don't know what I think. Clean her damn room. Don't leave your stuff lying ah, around everywhere. Know. There's hardly any floor space left to walk. As he glanced around, he launched into another of his annoying lectures. Honestly, he was making a big deal out of nothing. All he really needed to do was kick stuff out of the way. Oh no, still. All that matters to me is that I know where everything is. If it bothers you so much, why don't you tidy it up? She. <sighs> Oh. He okay. It's saying clucked again. Clucked. <laughs> he clicked his tongue and actually started to pick up the books. God damn it, Huntsman! Only the most incurable busybody would go to all the trouble of cleaning someone else's room. And yet, I found I couldn't quite bring myself to dislike him. Now that he had found a task for himself, there's nothing left for me to do but crack open my new book and start reading. Sure, it was the puzzle book with no story whatsoever, but it was still a book, and therefore I still wanted to read whatever text was in it. That was my personal policy. Roshi. Huntsman. After a few minutes, I called out to Roshi. Huh? Yeah. No, what is it? His son was one of annoyance as he continued tidying up the books. Yeah, because he's cleaning your room, bitch. Yeah. How many years has it been since you and I first met? He paused to think for a moment. At least six, I think. It all started at the lake, right? Yeah, that's right. We found you standing around the lake shore in the middle of the night and struck up a conversation. Lately, I've been going there to hang out with this one girl. Let's go! Oh yeah, what's she like? Annoying! She's an oddball. She seems to see at first glance. But she has hidden depths to her. You can never tell what she's thinking. Snow's trying to read Reiki like a book. Bro, <laughs> it ain't that deep. But you're also not gonna figure out what's on the next page. <laughs> if I were to describe her with a single color, it would be white. So she's pure and untainted. That's a weird wet phrase, but okay. Yeah, she's as innocent as the driven snow, untouched by corruption. She can be dyed in any color, or bleach any stain. Hers is a color unlike any other. Mm, interesting. She does sound like snow. This is my initial impression of her, right from the moment we first met. Interesting. Should we stop here? I think this is probably good... that seems like a good place to wrap up, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that too. I was like, maybe we should just wrap up there, because like yeah. Snow just unleashed everything. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also like two. If we keep going, we're gonna be going until about three here, so. Probably. But ooh. Yeah. So clear the beginning of the Snow White chapter. Okay, that's cool. I did notice we had significantly less choices than the others, but I think they're just ramping up, but like mm. It is just the beginning. It is. Like we, haven't we don't even... know how long their roots are. Yeah, we haven't even gone into any CGs yet. No, we got one. We got one. Well yeah, but that's like not new and doesn't count and you know it. No, I'm not. It's already been used as a thumbnail, I think. I don't know. I'll figure something out.
that's fair. I think... Kind of we could just say that they're friends, but I'm thinking maybe it's more akin to, um... I think I just need to restart capture. There we go. <laughs> right, Huntsman and Snow's relationship. Um, I think it might have mostly been like a case of like the Huntsman taking Snow in, just cause. Yeah. Like I guess kind of similar to how the Huntsman felt bad about uh like Red and stuff, but like actually taking Snow in this time. Yeah, there are a lot of weird parallels uh, for this one. First of all, it's always... It, Reiki's always set up in a cafe. Mm -hmm. Or at least Cinderella uh, is. We've got a rotating cast of characters that go into the cafe, but most of the time it's taking place at the cafe. Yeah. The other similarity is that we have the same story from Red Riding Hood's thing, where it's like the mother's warning him about wolves in the world. Which is also a weird one. We also saw the mother for the first time. Yeah. This episode, which is interesting that they give a character that's been kind of a minor side character a sprite. Yeah, I'm concerned because she has a sprite, to be honest. Yeah, I am concerned also that she has a sprite. <laughs> um, let's see. The other parallel that's kind of interesting, I don't know where it goes yet, is that Huntsman was the one that found Snow at the lake. He seems to find people at the lake quite a bit in these stories. Because mm -hmm. really what we're looking for with this is that we're trying to find out like what's the true story. Mm -hmm. And it's like all these little pieces that keep getting reiterated are adding to the bigger picture. I do find it really interesting that Huntsman isn't Ray Q's sibling this time, though, because that's something that's been constant. Yeah. Like, even for, like, Heads and Tails and, like, the Steam page for, like, the game, like, Huntsman is listed specifically as the MC's older sibling. Yeah. And I think it's just because he's not a... Uh, he's not a marriage or, like, a romantic interest for Ray Q. I think they wanted to focus on Snow White versus the other love interests from all the other stories with this one. Maybe. And I really think it's going to be a growing point of jealousy among the siblings of like, oh, our sister is like, you know, spending more time with this person. Like, Red Red can ignore it because like, Red's got that fear of women. Mm -hmm. uh, Cinderella probably doesn't give that much of a shit, but we know Gretel's going to be cooking something up. Yeah. Literally. And then Kaguya just seems to roll with it, honestly. <laughs> yeah. But I really think it's like trying to get the other males to interact with Snow in a way that is kind of meaningful, because Snow doesn't go out of his way to interact with people. Yeah, for sure. Like, the only reason he's interacting with Reiki is because this, this bitch has been annoying, like, not annoying him, but, like, <laughs> pestering him to talk to her. Yeah. Day, every night, and he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. We'll talk every night then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's still a bit early for me to, like, think about, like, where they're gonna go with the story. I do wonder if Wolf is gonna become involved, because we have literally everyone else. Yeah, we do have literally everyone else in, like, the first opening bit. We have Huntsman, Redel, Kaguya, Cinderella. The worst case scenario that I can think of is that, uh... I just thought about it a bit more. It doesn't make sense, though, because they already did this. But I was thinking, like, what if Huntsman and Snow are their siblings, but they're, like, moved out with their mom? 
but then it's like both their parents are out of town, so that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Unless they're like step siblings, but even then, like, that doesn't make sense either, because they would have mentioned like, oh, our parents, one of our parents got remarried or something. Yeah. Especially if Reiki's trying to be very open and honest with Snow mm -hmm. about like her life, because she's like, oh, if I'm more open about my life to him, he'll be more open about his life to me, and then we can find out more about each other. Yeah. Um, I'm still like the mother is still a very much a point of confusion for me because mm -hmm. obviously there's like some sort of psychological abuse going on there. Yeah. And or physical abuse. Like you don't just flinch at a parental unit without something going on. Mm -hmm. and it's either mentally or physically. And I doubt Snow is the one to kind of internalize things to the point where it's just like, oh, interacting with people is scary, especially when we see them have pretty normal conversations with other people. Yeah. And he's also talking about, like, I can't disobey mother, I can't blah blah blah, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, really, I really think there's some baggage there that's gonna be unleashed before this is over. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but that's just my thoughts on the matter right now. Fair. Understandable. And I could be completely wrong, and it's fine, because I just like talking about it. <laughs> it is fun to ponder. Like, I also can't yeah, help but, like, also think about, like, what's going to happen when the wizards are out, too, because something that's oh, yeah. been consistent is that if a certain character is in one of the stories, they won't be in the other. So if we have everyone in Snows, are they also going to be present for the wizard, or will it just be the wizard and Reiki somehow. I was gonna say, it feels like Wizard's kind of like not so much a finale, but it's gonna be covering a lot of how the world works. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you're gonna need everyone for that. So I think they might break the rule. I mean, they've already broken a major rule. Every other episode, we were able to choose which boy we went after first. And this one, they're like, nope, you are stuck on the snow route. Yeah. Though I... And it was something that we caught early. We're like, oh, wait, we should have had a choice here. Mm -hmm. I also do think, though, because of the way the wizard and Snow are being painted as opposites, that it would make sense that we don't have anyone else besides just the wizard or maybe Alice. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually go from Snow's route to the wizard's route mm -hmm. after Snow's route. And I'm not saying, like, go back all the way to the beginning and choose from there. I'm talking, like, it immediately brings us into the wizard's route. Yeah. We'll just have to see what happens, I guess. Mm-hmm. But, um, I guess without further ado, I'm going to raid Yukahaku. They're currently doing some art. Yay! Their mic is on this time. And they also have a Life 2D model now. Yay! <gasps> they got a Life 2D model? Yeah. They made. They probably made it themselves, but they probably had someone work it. Maybe. I think they had someone else do it based off of the art, but I could be wrong. I'll, I'll just be sure to ask them when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I am eager to be back to boys, boys, boys after a holiday break. Me too, but it was a necessary holiday break. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow I will be back with more Chaos Head. We'll be doing Sana's route, which I am scared for. <laughs> yes, be afraid. And then on Sunday we'll be starting the Zero Escape Nonary game series, which will be exciting. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I've been waiting for you to start Zero Escape. Let's go! <laughs> um, yeah. But until next time, everyone. Bye-bye! Wah 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 wah